back here with Barry, and uh, if there's a little bit of an echo, it's just too uh, too windy to record outside today. So if there's a bit of an echo, we're sorry, but we'll do the best we can. Uh, here we are, and uh, May 12th, and uh, day 61 of the lockdown. This is getting ridiculous, people. Listen, um, I guess I'm going to provide you an example of um, why I think flexibility is one of the most important things in anybody's plan. And take hold. Uh, those of you watching right now, uh, I'm sure a lot of my subscribers already recognize that video. Um, we received that video, just so I'm accurate here, I want to do this properly, uh, late Tuesday, May 5th, uh, it was brought to our attention. And right away we started doing a uh, video to give this the rightful presentation and exposure that it, it deserves because uh, what Officer Greg Anderson is speaking about here is uh, freedom in every sense of the word. I've made some notes here, but in the first video, which I'll play just a couple of minutes, Leanne's going to link them both. I don't, uh, you can watch them on your own time. I'm sure most of you have, or some, not most, some of you have already seen this, an impeccable exhibition of bravery and truth and righteousness. Nothing more could be said. Uh, there's such a huge difference between what is belief and what is surety. And uh, I don't think I've ever said this, but before, we're going to play a couple of minutes of this, but I, 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 if people can, uh, I, I, would, I would challenge people, go out and buy yourself a decent Latin dictionary. And you're going to be forever floored about where so much of your verbiage comes from. And what you think it means versus where the word originated from and what it actually means are so, so different. It would be earth shattering how much wisdom, how much intelligence a person would gain. But anyway, in this first video, uh, the importance of flexibility, I was just, uh, we were uploading it last night. It was almost 29 minutes. We paid an incredible tribute to this man, which we even double right now. But we didn't air it. Uh, we canceled it. So that's the, uh, the ability to be able to change on the fly without losing momentum. That's just a small example of it. Uh, we're now going to be posting also, um, it seems like... Uh, Five days later, he's actually put on probation for standing up for freedom. Uh, what uh, he was initially applauded. So in his first one, you know, at the end of it, am I doing the right thing? That's all that's important. And this is the difference between surety and belief. Belief will turtle. You know, you can believe in something, but when it comes time to exercising the words you say you believe, when it comes time to putting them into the real deal and making them into actions. That's where a lot of people close the doors and, and turtle and hide. And a uh, few of us do whatever we can that's different, whether it's investing time, whether it's investing money to the rightful causes, not the beliefs, the sureties. Anyway, Officer Greg and, uh, Anderson, I guess he's working out of Seattle. I took the time here to the second one to link uh, Anderson's actual Instagram, but I want to go to the first one and uh, commence with uh, what we've got here because it's absolutely amazing. Uh, what initially was commended by his commander for being an excellent job and getting out the right messages to society three hours later after the video reached over 400,000 views, it was going viral. That's where his command, he states, and I want to be so I'm accurate what I pass on to you. He didn't technically say the same commander, but he did say his command. That was a difference I caught. Uh, now said, uh, quote, uh, he was a bit worried, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, 400 views, there we go. I asked her if it, uh, it's time to pull the plug on this thing. It's time to pull the plug on this thing, and I'm quoting. 
That's where you're going to find honesty and truth. Bravery separates from belief. Okay. So have a listen. Uh, this is, I took the uh, extra few minutes. Uh, we dug up actually Greg Anderson's own personal Instagram. We just didn't want to, like we originally did, we just, uh, one of our great subscribers was helping us and sent it into us. And I always like to put the same video on to, so they know where it came from. And I always like to give them a high five on there with their name, just their first name. I'll never disclose privacy. That's always your right. But uh, I thought it would be best maybe this time because we've grown so much with your wonderful help. Uh, and all of us, not just us, we're nobody, but all of us together, uh, we are beginning to get noticed, and we're going to start going into that avenue a little bit too, okay? Life is balance, okay? Too much money and no times is bad, just as bad as, you know, no, you know, the opposite. Everything, everything is a duality, and there is, there is some good things coming out of this too. Okay, so without any delay, I'm going to play just a couple of minutes of this. Remember, this is the original video. And, uh, and I want it right on his Instagram. That way many of you can uh, make a comment directly to Greg. I personally gave him a private message um, because of the amount of volume that, that we're getting with all of your help. If he'd like to reach out to us, we'll have a little talk together. And I'm sure I'm going to get 100,000 views, like some of their 50,000 views or whatever, because you guys are doing such a great job. I know what I know from surety and over three decades of study. And a lot of people write, uh, and, I, and I do appreciate it, about how we think very differently. But I do know what is going to happen to uh, Greg Anderson here is because of the exposure and standing up for what is right, he's expressed such an honest sincerity of what it is to be a righteous human being. I didn't say a believer. I said a righteous human being. And something far grander than being a police officer is in his future. It is brave. And there's a difference between bravery and hero. This is not being a hero. This is being brave. Especially in his current surroundings. But the second video, before we released it, like I said, we were going to release it today. He's already been served, okay, five days later. So watch a couple of minutes. We'll link it. We're going to jump into the second video, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. You know, as a police officer, I'm compelled to make this video. I've been in law enforcement for 10 years, and I'm speaking to my peers, other fellow officers, people in any kind of law enforcement position. Um... I've seen officers nationwide enforcing tyrannical orders against the people. And I'm hoping I'm hoping it's the minority of officers, but I'm not sure anymore because every time I turn on the television, every time I turn I look to the internet, I'm seeing people arrested or cited for going to church, for traveling on the roadways, for going surfing, open Sorry, but, you know, uh, Greg Anderson, no, it's, it's you who's the minority, sir. I'm sorry to dispose that. It's you few that are truly the high-frequency ones. The rest of them, no, they're order takers. And uh, uh, that's where the bravery comes in. It's because you're in uniform that you're standing out like this for what's right. Sorry for the interruption, but I felt it was important. Opening their businesses, going to the park with their families, um, or doing nails out of their out of their own house, using their own house as a place of business, and have an undercover agents go there and arrest them and charge them with with what with a crime? I don't I don't know what crime people are committing by doing nails in their own house, but we're seeing this more and more and more, and uh, we need. To I'm going to let you watch the rest of it. I'm sure because um, a higher majority of the 
our subscribers are people that like to be informed and like to be in the know. So I'm sure a fair amount of you already saw it. But we were going to release it today, and I had made a, a lengthy speech honoring this man. But right now what I'm doing is jumping to what came to my late last night, okay? This is five days later. Hey, what's up, guys? So I just kind of wanted to take a couple minutes, get everybody caught up to speed on what's going on in my life. I've been getting a lot of questions and uh, figured I'd just make a second video and, and answer some of the things that I've been receiving. I first wanted to say I'm humbled by the response that my video got. It's been viewed millions and millions of times. People all over the country have been calling me, texting me, sending me emails, comments, and uh, the overwhelming majority of it, of it has been positive. And so I think that's pretty cool because my whole thought process on making that video was trying to bridge the gap between law enforcement and the public. And I've seen both sides with open arms willing to embrace that. And I think that's a step in the right direction. So that's pretty cool. One thing that I've seen come up over and over in the comments and I've been an email sent to me is, are you going to get in trouble? What, what happened to you? Or is there any discipline being, being uh, or any discipline taking place? And so I figured I'd, I'd take a chance and give you a little synopsis of the last three days of my life after posting that video. Um, so I posted the video on Tuesday, was it May 5th? And it, it took pretty, you know, it took a day or two before it really started getting a lot of traction. But the next morning when I woke up on the 6th, it was only, I think it was only at a few thousand views. And I had received a message from my command saying, wow, Greg, what a powerful message. We agree with that 100%. Well done. And that was actually a relief for me because I was like, great. You know, I know that it's risky putting something out like that, but I felt like it was so grounded in integrity and liberty that no one would have an issue with it. So that was, that was a relief. And then fast forward three hours later, I get another phone call from my command and it said, hey, hey Greg, the video's up to 400,000 views. It's time to pull the plug on this thing. And I immediately, it, it kind of caught me off guard because I said, why would, why would we want to pull the plug on something that was already acknowledged as a good and powerful message from Okay, I'm going to let that, like I say, Leanne's going to be linking both of them uh, in there. But I wanted to get a few words in and keep it to a reasonable length because I do have a few more videos I want to do today. I do have some from behind uh, different areas or uh, out of Sweden about people doing on the ground, about, uh, you know, it's amazing people. When people are stuck in fear, they just, there's no logic to it. But anyway, uh, Officer Greg Anderson, okay, he's out of Seattle. Uh, he's working out of Seattle, or was. They served him his papers, okay, his severance papers on this. I want to, this is why I linked it directly to, I took a few minutes and with Leanne's help directly uh, linked it to, you see Greg Anderson on Instagram. Anybody who wants to reach out to him, I just know what I know from Similar frequencies attract similar frequencies. The part that fools you about it is when you throw the factor of time into it. You know, like any, uh, just, uh, I want to describe, and you'll watch the video, because I want some of your time here to share something with you. I want to give you another one of my analogies. Put up with me. You can eventually train any dolphin to do backflips all day long for a, a handful of tasty fish. Okay. You can do the same with order takers, but you can do that all day long. What this gentleman is exercising now is a higher frequency. Like he said in his first video, and I'm flipping back to it because we were ready to post it. We were ready to just hit go live. 28 minute video about this. It's, yes, it's a few days behind, but we're just that busy bringing videos to you. Uh, you guys have been so great, and we can't keep up with you. But uh, the last question in the first video is all you ever, ever, ever need to ask yourself is, am I doing the right thing? Okay. And I can't, I, I, I've told you wonderful people so many times, it took me almost five years of admitting I was wrong before I could change the frequencies and start working into a different area. I've tried to share with you how 
at peace it makes you. I'm, I'm not out to convince any of you good people for anything because you're going to live with your own choices because you have this thing everybody's losing your freedom, but you'll always have free will. And they're, they're different. And free will will always allow certain choices, but free will could never protect you from the effects of those choices. Okay, that's where the free will hits the concrete wall and splat. Okay, so belief and surety are as far apart as oil and water. They just don't mix. They just don't mix. So um, anybody who wants to reach out to this quality gentleman, I know in a matter of time he's going to have himself something that is so much better quality, that is so much better for his family with less danger, with less stress, because he's absolutely right. He's not a trans person. He's a brave person, but he's not a trans person. I can tell in his first video when he said, well, uh, what I'd like to think is a minority of the officers. No, no, no. He's 100% wrong. Mr. Greg Anderson, it is you who is the minority. The vast percentage of people in uniform are nothing more than order takers. And when time permits, we're going to disclose a lot of good information about that. It's not about saying good or bad. It's about educating, okay, not indoctrinating. There's a huge difference. A big thanks goes out. Uh, I want to retract that, get this thing up and going. Again, a big high five. I'm going to be doing some videos from Sweden. No one even asks, why is it countries that are, are not in lockdown, like Sweden? Um, Tokyo, so many other European countries, so many countries on the border of Russia and everything, Ukraine. It, there's the, why is it there's no difference in the percentages? We showed you graphs, we showed you pictures, we showed you as much type one data that is available. All that is left for anybody wearing a mask right now, other than if there's pre existing conditions. Again, there's nothing's ever 100%. If a person has diabetes or respiratory issues or had heart issues or fighting any kind of disease right now, extenuating pre-existing conditions, of course, take some precaution. Of course. But any person who is healthy, feeling fine, do you know the chances are you would test positive of it? Because you've already had it. You just had some regular symptoms for a couple of days and never thought nothing more of it because it subsided. People, wake up. If we truly value our environment and our, our life and our, our, our and humanity as we say we do, put forth your effort, get good, honest information out, help the ones that will allow themselves to be helped, and the biggest thing of all, from like I would say, I'll quote um, Judy Minkowitz, Dr. Minkowitz, when she says, above all, all you people that were so wrong, please understand, forgive yourself. You didn't, you, you made decisions in fear. Forgive yourself. Okay? The best time you could have planted an oak tree would have been about 40 years ago. The second best time might be right about now. So dig your heels in. You're going to see you'll be stronger for it. And everything you ever dreamed on is probably two steps on the other side of your fear. Listen, in closing here, I know some of uh, people of a certain belief will understand this right away when I say forgive them, for they know not what they're doing. I like Martin Armstrong's a few extra words in it, five words. Or are they just corrupt? So what I read is forgive them for they know not what they're doing or are they just corrupt? And I would put my stack, a hundred dollar chips, slide it to the middle of the table on the second part. Uh, also, one last thing, just think about it, okay? Because I'm not trying to change anyone. These are universal laws. These aren't Barry's ideas or our laws. If we don't adhere to them, we're going to pay the price because we have to live within them. And that is, you learn nothing in life if you could never admit you're wrong. You will learn nothing in life 
if you can never admit you're wrong. And I've said in more than one video, because I was a real stubborn kind of guy that way, you know, a little bit of this or that or anything you did, you were reasonably successful with it or whatever, that ego started to build up. And it took me almost five years of what I was raised in, what I thought was right, what I believed in, that was a huge one. And I realized that nobody's out to really necessarily help you or hurt you, but I do know one thing. No one, including your parents, can teach you what they don't know themselves. Because 90% of your beliefs and your decisions relate to A, what you were born into, B, where you were born, three, it was the only thing you were ever exposed to. You've done no research on your own. Anyway, please get this out, and um, I gotta go. We got some more videos to do, okay? It's Barry and DR. Thank you so much for getting this stuff out. And uh, Leanne and I, we're, we're with you until this thing, until people are going back to work, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.